Today, uh, the Vietnamese are part of this. We together here and we celebrate the Lunar New Year, the year of dragon. Together, we pray and dance. Pray for the New Year's peace, justice, and love. This community has been around. We're actually uh, celebrating our 25th anniversary this year. So uh, this is a very special New Year's for us. Today, once uh, the priests uh, start their procession, they're uh, going to go to the ancestral uh, altar, and they're, they're going to uh, basically, on behalf of the whole congregation, give thanks and you know pay their respects to their ancestors. I uh, take my family here every almost every uh, week, every Sunday, to worship God here. Uh, even though I live in Whitestone, I go here because of the Vietnamese community and uh, of the, uh, their celebration of the Eucharist in Vietnamese. It's really fun, and since, you know, I'm Catholic, I really love God and Jesus, and it's fun to pray to God and be with each other and express love to each other. It's a, certainly a very beloved tradition. Uh, it gets a little expensive as, as you age because you're certainly expected to uh, give out the red envelopes uh, as opposed to uh, just being on the lucky receiving end. It, it's not about the money. It's just a sign of affection that uh, the elders uh, portray to, to the younger children. For kids who are growing up in America, it's good to remind them of their root. Traditional food. Um, Bánh mì is like a, a Vietnamese sandwich. It's adapted from French culture. Bún uh, and thịt nướng, which is uh, barbecue pork. The line group are my friends, and we really enjoy doing this because we get to get have the money and give it to church and donate sometimes to charity. Chúc mừng năm mới. Chúc mừng năm mới is basically Happy New Year. The dragon is uh, traditionally thought as a very powerful animal, a very lucky animal. So to whomever the, the year of the dragon is for, for this year, then I wish them the best of luck. Good job, Mom,